often at this university. Like people who go there, no, but you can't find a place to sit down uh, during the exam weeks. So in order to study for your exam, if you want to go to campus and in the library to study, like people bags the table by putting an yep. empty tote empty bag seat. in order to get a spot. Otherwise, ladies, like I'm going to push that aside. That's my yep. table now. Exactly. And like no matter what level that you go to, there's just no empty table because everyone wants to sit there like study for six hours and that's okay but I was used to finding a table and booking a room on my app so that I could like have my quiet little study hub like that's for me I know I can only have for 90 minutes but I only need 90 minutes to smash out some questions or something like that you know what I mean so yeah you see, you don't have my um, ADD problem. My thing is I need the six hours because you know what? I'm going to spend two hours watching videos first and then yeah. I'll do a bit of half an hour study. Yeah. Then i got to maybe nap a bit, get yeah. up, go to the toilet. Yeah. So, but what I did was, yeah. and you're lucky you found bags. You should find people just sleeping. Yeah, that too. Yep. Um, yeah. I, I, for me, <laughs> the study was I'd stay overnight. So I'd come like at night time with yep. less people yep. and sit and just cock, yep. in, cock in the six hours or whatever yep. for an exam. Yep. And then in the morning after I go to the exam, how yeah. tired I'm to be the most tired yeah. I could get. Well, that's your process, and yeah. I totally respect that. But now I have a question for you. So, okay. what is the weirdest thing that you've seen, like at the library, like a person on, on a late night thing? On a late night yeah. thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, besides the weirdest thing, probably being me. I'm the weirdest <laughs> thing there. Nah. Um, you Top know specimen. What? I don't know. Weird. Uh, Ooh, weird is such because you know what it's it's weird things that are weird are never noteworthy yeah. it's just things that aren't like but noteworthy you, you see for example something that i notice is yep. you see couples how they, they form around that study like you know yeah. they, they balance their life around it you know, for example for the people who live on campus yeah. stuff and yeah. you see the girlfriend she's there studying the boyfriend yeah. will come out yeah. bring food but, so i've done that enough to the point where i see the same couple yeah throughout the year mm. and so that was really cute Aww. I think it was weird it was, yeah. it was cute I think yeah. it was weird that I was watching them for a year no. <laughs> <laughs> told you I was the you weird are person. the weirdest I think the weird thing in the library man <sighs> uh, you can, no the weird thing in the library is that you rock up and I'm there yeah. sleeping <laughs> you're the person that's sleeping in the corner yes it's, oh, oh. usually it's me oh, oh my gosh good, good time but I sleep I, you, my uni experience is sleeping in libraries yeah. sleeping in classes yeah s sleeping on lawns <laughs> yeah Oh, oh wow but not sleep sleep's yeah. very important yeah 100 percent, definitely because that's how you reabsorb like all the information and store it so that you can actually remember what the heck you did oh okay yeah. i thought it was just more like we're training like it regards no that, that makes a lot of sense to me the, the need story. to yes that is wait, actually you're telling me actually yeah. dude you just taught me something because for a second as we we're talking about like sleeping and doing the exam i was yeah. thinking to myself well if you sleep you're not studying when you do the exam. What if you forget no, six hour period? No, that's sleeping. how you remember. And you're actually studying in your head because your brain's like, okay, what did we do today? Do I need to remember this for a long period of time because it's a life skill? Or is it a short term thing where like I need to get re reachieve like sorry, like pull this out of the storage really quickly and quite soon. So it knows like and it does that storage thing um but yeah that's the gist of I it sleep more often. yeah you should, definitely should especially so, after studying uh, so you've asked me what was the weirdest thing i saw in the library yes which I, wasn't that weird uh, you asked that though because you understand there are weird things that you can see in the library yeah, yep. so, anything you see yeah well i was going more like i saw a mountain of like i guess how do you say it? Remnants of food. So there oh, was wow. this one corner in a library and there's no like tape around it or whatever, but like every student who's walked past in that week, just like, it's a little bubble. We just walk around it because a person's obviously been there and has eaten in like a lot of meals, like, and left all the rubbish there. So it'd be like cup noodles, like five of them oh, stacked there, wow. the chopsticks. Like the takeaway, like it's just a mound over there. You can see like a little bag with a blanket on the bottom and no one like goes near there because there's a certain smell that comes with dude, it's like... a homeless dude, man. <laughs> He's just sleeping. I'm 90% sure it was the student, student, but okay. <laughs> 
It's a homeless student. Yeah, well, I mean, if you can't pay for those excessive city rental rates, that's yep. what you're going to do. Oh, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like the library. Yeah, 100. Well, people do do that, but that's normal. But you don't, like, keep your rubbish with you, like, for the duration of the of, week. Of your stay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for the duration of yeah. your accommodation. I mean, not even, like, you could just... There's a bin, like, six steps to the right of this guy, and he's just decided, no, I'm going I'm to keep everything here. That's okay. I'll just go back and forth to the hot water filter where there is a bin there, a tap, and, like, you can dispose of various things, like, in very uh, well-maintained, um, like... The separators. Yeah. Recycling, trash, Yeah, exactly. Green. So that... Nah. No, yeah, no, he just decided that. It's such a varied experience, I think, yeah. from like, like from Nowra, the countryside life, oh, to yeah. moving to um, yeah. Town, still that, country time, yeah, countryside well, life. Yep, yeah, Western uh, Sydney definitely is what, what? different. <laughs> and then going into the city, yep, obviously with uni and stuff like it. Yeah, and I worked in the city actually yeah. for three and a bit years, yeah. So you get to see, oh wow, that's such a. Yeah. Because I. Like, oh, sorry. No, you go. Oh, no, I was just going to say that really helped because on my breaks I was able to walk around and I know like certain parts of Sydney like the back of my hand I just know where the train tunnels connect to where you could just walk where it's faster to walk than the buses because I know at certain times like the bus has to wait a good eight to nine minutes in order to turn a certain street so if you know it's a certain time don't get on the bus just walk it i love yeah. that I, I, oh this is yeah. such a, and also such a good segue into traveling yeah